Comfort, fucking comfort, your bed, your bed is the enemy of progress. How many times do I have to say, what do you mean you're bored with life? What do you mean you're bored? There's nothing to do. I'm up early right now, I just left the gym, I'm feeling fucking good. I feel amazing. How do you not wanna feel like that? How do you not get up excited about life? I'm looking at the sun, the skyline, the birds come up. The birds, the damn birds aren't even worried about the light bill or what they're gonna eat or how they're gonna feed their kids. Why do you keep making excuses? Why do you hide behind your responsibilities or why you're out of shape? And why you don't have time to get in shape or to increase your income, change careers, start a business, get straight, put the alcohol down, stop smoking the fucking meth or whatever you're doing. A lot of people are in that shit, man. I lived in the hood. Look, listen, I remember when I was a kid, people would just run on that shit. People that have jobs are running on alcohol and all kinds of shit. When I got older, and I was still in the come up. All the company trucks were coming in on Fridays and Saturdays. Company trucks with the name of the companies on the side. They're getting their weed, their fucking everything. Cocaine, all that shit. Where I used to live. And I'm just telling you, how long can you run like that, man? You ain't got time to work out. You ain't got time to build the life that you want. Why do you keep running? Why do you keep taking shortcuts? Why do you keep drinking? Every weekend you fucking get drunk. And then Sunday you wake up hungover and you're like, I'm not gonna ever drink again. And then you forget by Friday. I used to do that all the time. I used to get so drunk. I'm like, I'm not gonna drink no more. And I started drinking again. During the week, I started drinking every day. Then, man, I was getting out of control. I was taking the shortcuts, gave up on the gym. Now I'm back, stronger, better, look younger, healthier. Like, how can you be bored with life? I drive by the motherfucking cemetery all the time and i see all the graves or like the line of cars when they're escorting the, the hearse and i'm like god damn we're all headed there that shit like are you are y'all even alive up here is there anything in this fucking coconut on your shoulders like what are you doing just driving I'm, I, I stop at the light and i look around and everyone's like in another world and i'm like they don't know they're dying like there's so much to do and accomplish in life and when i see people just fucking wasting their shit away there's nothing i hate more than fucking average ass people average but what what is it to hate people like that or to hate that people exist like that they need help that's why i make these videos every single day because we're not going to miss we're going to do this shit every day follow my instagram ruben r-u-b-i-n isaac underscore i'm posting on there as well what the fuck else am i going to do what else am i going to do just clock in clock out every single day do the same old shit come home get on my fucking phone watch netflix jerk my little sh my fucking dick is that what i'm gonna do every day because that's what you you do everyone's doing watch and the girls they're not maybe they're, the girls are watching videos of people doing nails and makeup on tiktok for hours and hours gaining weight ordering fucking mcdonald's getting fat not doing a motherfucking thing with your life hey i'm sorry for the language this is how i talk usually and i tone it down on the videos because you guys are a bunch of snowflakes and get hurt. But it's the facts, it's the truth. What are you doing with your life? If, if you were God and you were looking down on the planet and you saw all these fucking people just eating trash, laying around the fucking house, hiding behind responsibilities, while I got birds and animals running around, fucking happy as hell. When have you starved? We're in the United States. When have you ever fucking starved or been, or been without? No one here has ever been without. Even undocumented people that are here are, have never been without in this country, in this country. Like we're so blessed. And all we, what that comfort has led to is to, for a lack of progress. We're not doing shit with our life. We're just sitting around and ain't doing shit. How long are you gonna live with that like that? I'm here to wake you up. If you're watching this video, I'm here to wake you up. Look at me. They're gonna bury your ass in a fucking coffin. Do you not understand that? The words coming out of my mouth right now. They're gonna bury your ass and all the assets, all the little savings accounts, I know a lot of fucking people like that. I'm gonna save $500 a week for 40 years. Bro, they're gonna split all your shit up and spend all your shit. What are you doing? Get your shit straight. Let's fix your mind. Let's fix the food you're putting in your body and let's get you in shape because that'll be a byproduct of fixing those two things. And then you can go conquer and do whatever the hell it is that you wanna do and make this place a better world, make this planet a better place. Come on now. We'll be back tomorrow with another video.